just what are the Springboks up to? Their 7-1 split on the bench, something first seen in a warm-up match, is now being wheeled out for an epic clash against the number one ranked side in the world, Ireland. This latest innovation is bound to catch the ire of many in international rugby. But as former Springbok Lawrence Sapaka says, they'll hate it, but they'll be studying its effectiveness as well. They crying fall about it, but I'm sure a lot of teams are really looking to it and see the effectiveness of it and how you go about it as well. And if you look at it as well, you're probably the one person, the one split that you see there as well is probably the unlikely character that's only covering one position and everyone else is covering everyone else within the first, I think, 15. Sapaka says this latest iteration of the bomb squad is designed to cause maximum hurt, plain and simple. They want to take on Ireland, but they want to hurt Ireland. If, according to what I've seen, what they do, the seven on split, its own purpose is to do exactly that, hurt physically as much as you can, and the game probably when it gets a bit tense, a bit uh, loose, and uh, some people are losing their wheels, are falling off, then you've got people who can come on and keep their tempo up as well at the same time. The box are set to shock the rugby world yet again, and according to Sapaka, there's just one thing that could derail the spectacle of power. The only reason they'll run into serious trouble in terms of the hooker position, to be honest, is when Bonambi gets a red card. So the question now, do you play him until he can't play no more? Or do you actually manage him as well and bring on the other guys to keep on getting practice? Maybe, like this game, the bearing of losing and winning is really not that heavy. It's probably a good time to test them properly against a proper scrumming team. What can they really do under pressure, especially the third choice? Sapaka suspects the box are using this match with an eye on the knockout stages. And he thinks Ireland should be doing the same if they are serious about winning the World Cup. If they're going to have to test their uh, set plays, their plays, their, uh, their game plan, it's probably the best time to test this as well as against the box to see how effective it is. If it's effective against the box with their physicality and, and they are probably if they can get past this physicality of the box, they probably got a chance of actually just walking to the, the final of the World Cup and taking it. Ultimately, the pressure is on Ireland. They are yet to prove themselves. The box have done it all before. We're defending it, a lot of teams trying to win it. So we basically probably got more or less pressure. Only pressure we have is trying to retain it. World Rugby's early seeding system allowed for the two best teams in World Rugby to meet in the pool stages. It's now up to both of them to use the match for their own ends. Simon Burke, SABC News, Johannesburg.